All right, my name is AJF. Welcome to Do You Know AJF. In today's video, we'll be treating random past questions on WIAC uh, chemistry. And I would like you to, uh, to, pay, to, to, to pay attention to this very class. I know you'll be surprised to see this very video because I already said this very morning that I might not be able to do another video. But I checked your timetable and I saw that uh, uh, it, it, it's actually 2 o'clock, not 9.30. So that means I can actually make another video. So with this, let me just quickly make this very video. I'm sorry. Let's see how far we can go with this very video. I will just suggest in your examination. But if you are new to this very channel, I would like you to click the red subscribe button below this very video and click the notification bell so that you will not miss out where we upload videos just like this for students to prepare well for their examination. Now, the first question. State the method of collecting gases which are denser than air. When, when you are actually talking about gases that are denser than air, you should know that what that means that the mass ratio to the velocity uh, to the volume ratio of that very what of that very uh, gas will be higher than what than that of air, right? When you are talking about this, we have what we are we use we use what we call the downward delivery or upward displacement of the air. Now I talked about downward. I talked about upward. Some somebody could could see this confusing, right? So I want to tell you the real uh, why we call this uh, downward delivery and why we call this upward de uh, displacement. Ah, uh, downward delivery and upward displacement. Now the, the 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 what the picture you can see right here captures that, and I will explain that to you right now. You see, this very gas is being what is being um uh, is being what is being delivered. It's been delivered. It's been delivered. What is being delivered? It's been delivered downwardly downwardly just like you can see here you see this is downwardly right downwardly have you seen it now but when i'm talking about the ear the ear that, that is actually inside that very gaja that, that is inside that very gaja is being what is being displayed is being what is being taken out is being taken is being no, the, 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 the the air is being what is being taken out upwardly have you seen it now here is being taken out upwardly here so that's just the meaning the gas is what is being delivered downwardly why the what the, the the very air is being displaced upwardly do you understand now now we are talking about the examples of what of gases that can actually do this number one i want you to notice please i might not really write it down because of the time so number one is what carbon dioxide number two chlorine number three chlorine chloride number four sulfur dioxide so that's what that's that about gases that are denser than air. But when you are talking about uh, the gases that are what that are that are what that are less dense compared to air, that we use what we use what we mean by what upward delivery or downward displacement of the air. Now let me tell you what we mean by that second one as well. You see this very picture you can see here. I actually said a lot of things about that. Do you understand? So what 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 I will not need, I will need you to understand now is that what the gas is being what the gas is being collected what is being collected uh, upwardly. You see, just like what you can see here, the gas is being collected upwardly. Let me use another color so that you can actually see that very place very well. It's being collected upwardly. Do you understand? But what? But the air that is in that gas in that gas jar, it's being what? It's being displaced downwardly. It's been displaced downwardly. Have you seen what I what I'm actually saying now? So with this, you should understand the this and what. Don't take it for each other. Upward delivery is different from what is different from upward displacement. Please, it is upward delivery stroke downward displacement. Now, examples of the gases of gases that actually that we can actually see this thing uh, can actually notice this with is what is one ammonia. Two hydrogen. Please note it. One ammonia. Two hydrogen. Please, before I move to the next question, if you've not clicked the red subscribe button for more videos, click the red subscribe button and the notification bell. It's just for free. And if you need the first video I uploaded this very video, this very morning, you can watch. You can check the description section or click the card you can see on the screen right now. Question number one B. Name two gases that can be used. To what to perform the uh, the fountain experiment now after that state the physical property 
which, which makes it suitable for what for the experiment now i want to tell you that what i'm talking about the two gases that can actually perform that can actually be used to perform fountain experiments we have what number one ammonia gas we have number two hydrogen chloride gas please note it do you understand hydrogen chloride gas now uh, i want you to note this uh, you could be given questions like this and you see that with what you see state the word the physical properties which makes it stable for the word for the experiment actually i'll still talk about how white could actually bring this question out but before then let's talk about this the physical property is what number one the reason why the reason why it is what it's it, it actually suitable for this very experiment the two guys i just said that's um, ammonia and hydrogen hydrogen chloride is because of what the high solubility their high solubility in water Note what I said. I didn't say soluble. I said highly. They are highly soluble in water. So, note that. Now, why could give you a question like, give the name of this very experiment. Especially this very picture you can see here. They can just tell you that what. Give the name of this very experiment you can see there. So, please don't doubt. It is what? It is called fountain experiment. Now, they will not tell you that what. What, what actually does this very experiment demonstrate? I want, to, I want to tell you that what it demonstrates what it demonstrates the what the high solubility of if it is ammonia you say high solubility of ammonia or, or uh, ammonia in water you, you, yeah, if, if it is hydrogen chloride you say that what it's high, uh, it is it, it, uh, it demonstrates the what the high solubility of hydrogen chloride in water do you understand now it, it, they could also give you that what the gas that could be used in place of HCl you know in place of HCl we have what ammonia gas now, when this when this very question was given in year 2015, why well, notice this? Instead of fountain exper experiment, people were writing fountain experience. Please note, did you hear what I just said? Did you hear what I just said? People were writing fountain exper experience instead of fountain experiment. So note your words, note your spellings, and what write legibly. I expect that what you are part of those people that will celebrate A1 in this very course. Please don't forget for more videos like this, click the red subscribe button and the notification bell. It will help you to what to get more videos just like this to prepare well for your exams. Do you need YEC pass questions solved like this? Click the big card you can see on the screen right now and watch those videos. Don't forget to like this video and if you found this very video helpful, comment to tell us and appreciate us. We will what we'll be very glad that we have a community that is responsive. On this positive note, don't forget the name of this very channel is what do you know AGF?